Oh yeah, this is only uh, starting to transit here. Uh, the guys here at work are, are, are gonna think this is uh, funny. Actually, they thought it was funny the, the last uh, um, day was that it was uh, uh, Thursday the 26th. Hey, that, that was uh, in the morning. Taking a Bryce Grove uh, uh, bus in, and then uh, I, and every morning I says to the guy, get the Confed bus guy to wait. Every morning I say that. Because it's like a little too cold to be walking from Murphy Terminal to work. It was on uh, Confed. And uh, I started to tra uh, transit right there. And uh, so basically I'm going to be sending this to uh, Jim Stevens. Um, okay, the. Uh, we got up to the corner of uh, uh, Murphy and uh, London. So I look over and I see I see the uh, Confed guy uh, uh, leaving. So I says the uh, uh, Bryce Grove uh, driver. I said, "Hey, is that the Confed bus?" And he goes, uh, "Yeah, if it is, he's leaving early." So we get there and there's uh, three other people on the bus, and uh, they didn't know what was going on because the, uh, I didn't think this driver was going to go chase after him. So he's trying to get him on the radio, couldn't get him on the radio. So I, I think he has his radio either turned down or turned off. So uh, we went chasing after him. And the, the other three three people on the on the bus, the Bryce Grove bus, who are there, they're looking around, they're going, well, what's going on here? So we uh, chased after the Confed bus. And uh, so the Bryce Grove bus was pulling alongside. I thought he was going to like wave at him. He went ahead of him and went over to the, the Murphy, I mean the... Uh, Wellington uh, uh, bus up. I jumped off and he just didn't see me, the uh, Confed bus. So he made this turn, real sharp turn, and he blocked the whole road. So I get on the bus and he's got the radio, the regular, this radio you hear here. No, I had music going, like loud, really loud. So there's, there's no way he would have heard the radio, the regular radio. And just seeing who it was, I wasn't shocked. This is the same guy. Jim Stevens, I am sure he's, he's heard of this, but uh, he may deny it anyway, regardless. But the same as this, this video here, plus I wrote to him, somebody comes along and says, oh, hey, this same bus driver did this to this guy. And Jim Stevens is going to have a hard time trying to deny this one, that he never saw this or ever heard of it. Because I'm sending them this video. And... Uh, uh, like I wouldn't make up a video and not send it to somebody when, when I'm not gonna. No, no. Uh, I had reservations of uh, come back to the city, mainly because um, I didn't even factor in the bus, and, and I should have. No, mainly city hall for closing at uh, the, the homeless shelter. I know everybody, regular Joe I talked to, they're like, <gasps> anybody to do with working for a city, province, or federal government, they have a stone look on their face like, and they're almost like, uh, why are you throwing this in my face? Why should I care? And, and, and that's the, well, not all the, all the bus drivers are bad. Two for sure shouldn't be there, and this is one of them. And, and the same guy, my sister, saw him, the same, the same bus driver, this guy. So I, was, I wasn't totally shocked who he was. And uh, um, there was somebody waiting for the bus with her. She doesn't know who it was. They, um, they were having a cigarette. So I guess th this bus driver was trying to quit smoking. This guy gets on the bus. He's, so the bus driver smells this uh, smoke coming off the guy. He sprays for breeze all over the place. And now I'm like, oh my God. This guy should not be, no, the union's gonna protect this guy. <laughs> it doesn't matter what, what you say or what you do. Some would think, well, why even bother making this video? Well, see, these guys are gonna need to cover their ass because it's been pretty freaking cold here. And if you wanna end up like a, you know, the little 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 kid in, uh, in uh, Toronto, uh, Elijah, oh my, that's extremely sad. And it was, it's, it's a good thing that there, it, this wasn't a woman and, one or, and she had one or two kids with her because no, that wouldn't go down very good at all. <laughs> and I, I'm sure they've had more than more than this complaint from this very bus driver. Uh, Jim Stevens, he's, he's seen me before. 
I had I had another complaint at a different bus stop just before I left to go back to Kitchener, and then I got I got a uh, oh people I work for they went to London to uh, come and get me they needed people here you won't find anybody in the city that would do that I I don't know of any nobody there, there's good people and they're bad uh, when I go back to Kitchener and they call me back I'm I'm going to be remembering this bus driver. Uh, would be not, they're waiting for him to retire. Well, it's taking freaking forever. So you might might want to just uh, unload him like right now. Uh, you need this like you need another hole in the head. Uh, I know the, the guys here at work are gonna they're gonna see this video and then and, and they're gonna they're gonna say oh my and they and they were chasing after the guy. Yep. Yep. See that that was a good bus driver. That one. He's trying to make up for that goof goof ass error. The one that needs to go. He needs to go like. Right now, uh, <laughs> very uh, yesterday needs to be gone late yesterday. Anyway, okay, that that's my uh, two bits on uh, um, spit the one spare. Well, uh, there's two spares from uh, uh, Serenity Transit and uh, do yourself a favor, unload them before this guy. This guy doesn't care. He doesn't care. Um, and I'm hoping. Well. <laughs> I'm hoping, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not betting the fire money that I'm going to run into him again. And he's going to pull some different other, st other stunt. I imagine he's done like lots of stunts. Anyway, okay. That's my uh, two bits. And uh, stay warm.